Hi guys, welcome to Iron Element. This is the mass series, day one. All right, it's time to build some muscle. Day one, this is a chest and tricep. This is a step above the forge series. There's a little more volume. There's a little heavier weight. We're going to work in the lower rep range of eight reps instead of 10. This is a great series for putting on some size. So if you got a little more time in your day and you want to be a little more serious about working out and lift a little bit heavier and get that extra volume, this is the program. All right. We are going to get started with chest and tricep. We're going to hit the incline bench press. Get yourself set up. All right. We're going to start with a warm up of eight reps, a couple of sets of eight reps. Get the chest nice and warm. Then we're going to go into our working sets. All right. Let's get to it. I'm not going to waste any time because this is a longer workout. Let's go. We're looking for eight reps on the warm up. If you don't know how to do incline press, learn. All right. Here we go. This is not a beginner workout. Let's go. Eight reps, guys. Take a quick little break here. Adjust yourself. Make sure your bench is all good. Make sure you're set. And with the incline bench, you're gonna bring it to the top of your chest here. Power it up, right? Nice and slow down. Power it up. Don't drop it down to your chest, right? You're controlling the whole way. This is gonna be a great chest and tricep uh, workout. We're gonna get in here. I'll try to keep it as short as possible, but it's gonna have more volume. Okay, and we're gonna push more weight in that amount of time. All right, get the chest nice and warm. I'm doing lighter weight than I usually do, so I can talk through my rest periods. If I was doing my normal weight, I can't really talk much. I'm huffing and puffing and working myself really hard. But for this, I'll go a little lighter so that <clears throat> I can talk to you guys. All right, warm up set number two. I'm looking for eight reps, guys. All right. Let's go. So it's up, nice and slow down, force it up. Squeeze that chest together. All right. All right. <clears throat> Let's add some weight. It's enough games. That's it. Now you're gonna add your working weight, guys. As I said, I'm light, so I'm gonna go light, but you're gonna add your weight. Add your weight that you can go eight reps on. Progressive overload concept is the same, right? You're doing the same idea here. Change out your weight. Okay, I'm really light here. Maybe I'll add a little more. <clears throat> add some more for a bit of a challenge here. Load it up. Now, now that we're ready to go, we're in the eight rep range following progressive overload. If you're a brand new beginner, you've never done this before, I suggest going back and doing the Forge series. The Forge series is a fantastic, quote, bodybuilding style workout split for people who are new, who wanna learn how to lift. It's a five day split, very similar to this. It's just going to get you into it and get you a lot of, a lot of benefits, a lot of muscle in that program. All right. Okay, I am ready to start. The difference with this, we're doing more volume, eight reps only, but we are going to be, make sure my mic is working here. We are going to be doing four sets of the incline bench press. Four sets, eight reps, guys. You ready? Let's hit it, let's hit it, eight reps. Whenever you're ready, guys.
seven, eight. That's it, right there. Set one is done. Take a rest, take a quick breather. So, as always, make sure you're writing it down, what you've done. If you want a copy, an Excel copy, that's what I use. If you want an Excel copy of this workout so you can track a month worth of your progress, um, write me at iron element at outlook.com. I'll send you a copy, no problem. But for now, write it down, take a drink, get your water, your electrolytes in, don't forget your salt. <clears throat> and I hope you had a little bit of protein earlier in the day. Some of you guys work out on an empty stomach or fasted, that's fine. Other guys like to have a little bit of protein before. I like to have some protein before, a few, little bit of carbs, very little. All right, that's set one. Now we're doing four, remember, so it's much more volume. So it's 25% more volume than what we did. I know it's, less, it's two less reps per set as forge, but you're upping the weight. Now that you're going lighter on the reps, you should be able to add a little bit of weight. This is the fun part. This is what I really love doing. I love working in the six to eight rep range, but we're going to hit eight reps each time. All right, good stuff. We're taking around a minute and a half rest. Hopefully it's enough for you to recover. If you're really struggling to get to eight reps, lighten it up a bit here. All right, we're just starting guys. You ready? Eight reps, let's go. Starting this one with the incline bench press as opposed to flat. The upper chest is a smaller muscle. It doesn't get worked as often and it's neglected a lot, right? Everybody wants the, the big chest with the crease, but a lot of people forget to get that upper build so that it, you know, you get that little bit of armor stick out, that armor plating look where it sticks out really hard to develop for some guys like me. I struggle on my chest development, <clears throat> even though I'm benching half decent numbers for my size. Remember, I'm a light guy. I'm only 185 pounds, 5'9". So, you know, it's hard to put up massive bench press numbers. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the goal here is to build the chest. So we're always trying to build the chest. All right. Take a nice deep breath. You're working out with me, guys. Don't even have to think about it. Just do what I do. Follow me on Facebook. Comment. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on YouTube. Obviously, you're watching this video on YouTube. Comment below. Drop me a comment. Tell me if you like it. Tell me if you don't like it. Tell me what you want to see. Say, hey, Mike, how's it going? Drop me a line. I'd love to talk to you. All righty. Okay. Let's get our mind right for set number three. For my buddies in Quebec, set numéro 3, c'est la troisième set, on commence maintenant, all right, let's go, let's go boys, push it up, here we go, eight reps. Nice job. Nice job. We rack it, guys. Be safe. <clears throat> Take another rest for set four. All right. Grip that bar hard, guys. Studies show gripping the bar hard gives you that little extra bit of power that you need. So this is the last set for the incline bench press. Then we're gonna go to flat dumbbell bench press, okay? We're not gonna use the bar for this, but while we're resting on the dumbbell bench press, you're gonna set up this for a flat bench press after, for close, close grip bench press. Same setup as your flat, basically. So I like to try to set up my next exercise while I'm doing my current exercise, if possible. All right, 
But for now, that doesn't matter. Focus on set number four. Keep your mind right. Remember, if you hit eight reps and you found it super easy, you could have done 10, you could have done 12, that means it's too light, guys. You can write it down for this week, that's fine. Next week, write down already the new weight. Raise it by five pounds. It's not a race, you don't have to raise it by 20. Raise it by five, see how you do. All right? Pick your spots of progressive overload. Everything doesn't have to go up every week. Challenge yourself in one or two areas each week and push yourself to just do a little better than the last week. If it's five pounds for one set, hey, better than you did last week, right? Okay, last set, best set, guys. Let's do it. Eight reps, ready? Let's go. Right down to the chest. Good job. All right, four sets down of that. Now let's go flat bench press. Change your bench. And go to flat dumbbell bench press. So rest right now, because that's what we're that's what we're doing. But I'm also going to prep this guy to move to my new lower area that I need for regular bench press. Now, if you can't do that, no problem. Just pause it when the time comes. I'll be like this. And then you just keep playing. And that's it. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. I removed my spotter arms, so I can't rest my, I can't rest it on there. So I'll just put these guys aside for now. Now we're gonna do the bench press with dumbbells, so find your dumbbells that work. All right, we are going to do four sets of flat dumbbell bench press. Remember what I said? If you've done dumbbell bench press before, which you probably have, you know, bring your arms to the 45 degrees. You're not pressing like this, and you're not pressing like this. Close grip bench press, your arms will be like this. But for dumbbell press, have them in a nice neutral position anywhere in this range here, not up here, you know, just nice and comfortable. That's what you wanna do. Squeeze that chest when you push up, all right? Okay. You ready for this? I am. It's time to build the chest. I've had enough of having a small chest. I need the big, to build some big pecs. All righty, eight reps, guys, same thing. Four sets of eight, you ready? Let's do it. Here we go. All right, that's eight. Rest it up. Rest it up. Prep your next lift. Put these on the ground for now. Lower the bar. Move my hooks into the position that I need. And put my bar back up. Now I'm resting. That was set one of four. Good job, guys more volume in the chest more let me know if you want to see different types of workouts what kind of series do you want to see German volume training five by five kind of a hybrid strength kind of program which I'm thinking of doing next do you want to see some more dumbbell only as I said I'm gonna do a five-day dumbbell only split uh, you want to see just Bodyweight workout, what do you want, guys? Tell me, and I will do it with you. We'll do it together, we'll figure it out together. I may not know 100%, remember, 
I punch a clock like you guys. I work in an office. I'm not an Instagrammer. I'm not a, a social media expert. I'm not a guru. Just a regular guy like you who wants to build some muscle. All right, guys, here we go. You ready? Let's get to it. Eight reps. Good job, good job. Okay. In addition, is there anything you want me to talk about? I can talk more about nutrition. I can talk about how to track. I can talk about protein. I can talk about general health, walking, what else I do on the side to try to stay in decent shape. I follow an 80-20 nutrition rule. If you want to know more about that, drop me a line. I can talk about that. I can talk about a lot of other things, guys. Medical things. Uh, I can talk about what I'm doing for on my side things for, for my medicinal health, my supplements. Talk about a lot of different stuff, guys. There's a lot of information out there. I want to try to make it as easy as possible for everybody to digest, because it's quite confusing, to be honest. I'm still lost, but we'll get there. Okay, this is set number three of four. All right, we're gonna hit it. Take a deep breath. All right, you guys ready? Come with me if you want to lift. All right, let's do it. Eight reps. I wasn't counting, but I think that was eight. I lost count. I know, I know. Okay. <clears throat> Take a break here. Now we're on the last set of this. So we'll have four sets already on the incline, four sets on the flat. It's a good eight set of chest workout so far. Now we're gonna set up for, after this last set, we're gonna set up for the close grip bench press. All right, put on your weight that you want to use for eight reps. It'll be a lighter weight than the bench press. If you don't know, it'll, it'll be a lighter weight than the bench press. So that's a little bit of a tip for you. So if you were benching a hundred pounds, I would definitely lighten this to maybe 60 pounds, 70 pounds, whatever you want to do. See, pet of dexterity right there. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to, after this set, we're gonna move the bench in and you're gonna be bringing the weight down to here. So when you're laying on the bench, you want to be looking, you want your eyes to be looking above the bar. So you want the bar down here, maybe around your chin, because you're gonna be unracking it and bringing it right down to around your ribs, your stomach area. I'll show you. You probably know because this is closer to an intermediate workout. This is the next level above forge. So if you've already done forge, it's very familiar to you. We're just adding more stuff. You ready? Last set, best set, eight reps. Let's go. Right down there. Excellent work, guys. <clears throat> Excellent work. Take a break. Take a break. Let's get your bench set up. Do a test on your bench. Make sure it's in a good area. I like my eyes to be above the bar here. And then I have the close grip. I have the power bar, so there is knurling here. I have my finger on the knurling. So you can't really see my hands from that angle, but 
on the bench press, I'd be out here, but on the close grip, I'm a little bit in around shoulder width. You don't want to be super close because that'll hurt the wrists, come out a bit. And when you're coming down, you're going to come down with your elbows to your sides and the bar lower. So bench press, you'd be coming down like this, close grip like that. All right. But take a breather. You know, if you guys are struggling to get set up in time, just pause it. Just pause it, take a minute, get set up, resume. It's okay, you need an extra minute to breathe, to catch your breath. Don't sweat it, guys. What matters is getting the volume in, okay? The rest time's not a big deal. <clears throat> now we're going to be doing eight reps again, but only three sets this time, okay? So we're gonna be doing three sets on the close grip bench press. Alrighty, let's sit down. Get our minds right. This is a great one for the chest and the tricep, but great. This is probably the best tricep movement. So this is where we're starting to lead into a little bit of tricep work. Let's get down there, get your grip where you want, and let's go push it off and we'll go eight reps, right? See where I come down? Right there. One, that's it. Flex that at the top, flex your tricep, two. breather adjust my bench a little bit another minute and a half deep breaths guys you got this you probably can feel that just by bringing it to your side you can probably feel the tricep already kicking in okay we're gonna do two more sets of this but in the meantime feel free to set up your other stuff so in the future after we're going to do easy bar extensions so think of what you want to do and start setting it up. Take your time. I do one or two things in between the sets to get ready. Saves me a bit of time. And by the time it comes to that work, that exercise, I'll be ready to go. All right. Efficiency guys, efficiency. If you have your own home gym, like I do, you can have all everything already pre set up and you'll be ready to go. If you're at a public gym, you're gonna have all this equipment and way more, which is great. Uh, you might not be able to hog the equipment, so you might have to just pause it, get ready, and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> nice deep breath, guys. We're building the chest, we're building the triceps. That's what we want, right? We wanna build that horseshoe. I gotta get it bigger, it's a good goal for me too. All right, let's lay down. Grab the bar, close grip, round shoulder width. And eight reps, guys. Let's go. Get up. Nice pace. Don't rush it. Don't drop it down. Three. Four. Five. Six. And eight. All right. Good job everyone okay take a break one more set one more set on this but i will set up my easy bar for later on if you don't have an easy bar you can use uh if you don't have an easy bar you can just use dumbbells when i do it it's just an overhead extension later on don't worry about it. I just gotta find another collar here because safety is what matters. You don't want weights falling, injuring you. One bad injury, guys, and you'll be on the sidelines. So while I have 20 seconds, it's an important note. Always be safe. If you find it's way too heavy and your forearm's breaking down, you could get hurt. Take it easy. You're better off to lighten the weight and not get injured longevity, be consistent, then get hurt by trying to push yourself too much, and then you're out for months and you can't work out that bottom part or at all. Don't 
do it. And the same goes for using colors, using safety colors. You see a lot of guys don't use them. Just put them on. Is it really worth the risk of something happening? The weight falls off, you're unbalanced, you, you get hurt, the weight falls on you. Why? Don't, don't even bother with that. Extra five seconds, just do it. Okay, enough talk. Mike, you talk too much. All right, eight reps, guys. Let's go. Up. And eight. All right. We are done with that one. Good job, guys. Let's pull the bench back a bit. We're done with that, take a quick break. We are going to move on to flat bench flies. Dumbbell flies, guys. That's where we're going. And while I do it, I'm just gonna clean up my weights. That's my OCD. I gotta clean them up. I know, in my own gym, I don't have to. But you know what? Why not? When I clean them up, I'll be happy the next time I come into the gym that I did it. Okay? All right. Dumbbell flies. We're gonna do eight reps. Three sets. Let's get ready for that. Now when you're bringing them up, I'm gonna show you from the top down view. Right, you want your elbows just a bit bent. You're not, you're not straight arm, right? You're coming down, right? You're coming down where the dumbbells are, giving you a nice pectoral stretch here. And then when you come up, bringing them together over your chest. You're not bringing them up here over your head, right? You're bringing them over your chest and you're gonna squeeze them together. There's a pencil right there, right? There's a pencil right there. Right there, there's a pen. Right there and you're squeezing it. All right, so you're coming up and you're squeezing and down. You're coming up, squeezing and down. That's the motion I wanna see. It's hard to really judge yourself. You might even need to video yourself, record it so you can see what you're doing. I'm showing my age, videotape yourself. I'm an old man, so you know, I can use the word videotape. Record yourself, see how you're doing. All right guys, it wraps right over the chest, right? Here we go. You're gonna open up and come back, squeeze. One, two, three, four, that's it. One more. That's the way to do it. See that slow movement? Definitely will help build that muscle and give you that negative on the way down. Guys, a lot of the muscle is built on the negative, okay, on the downwards. People don't think so. They just wanna drop it and they wanna push it up. It's actually the negative that builds a lot of the muscle. You're tearing, you're stretching. And it's the same on the bench press. When you're coming down on the bench press, that helps stretch and build the muscle. Everybody thinks it's, it's the eccentric, the decentric, I believe that's right. And it's the same on, on the bicep curls. For example, if you're curling, coming down, you wanna feel that resistance. Don't just drop them down. You always want that negative uh, pressure and that will cause that extra strain on the muscle, forcing it to adapt, okay? All right, there's one set of those. That's really good. We are going to move after to the rope press down after these three sets. We're only on set one here, but that's where we're going next. So get ready to do that for another eight reps. Okay, let's get my weight here. Take a breather. Good workout guys. This is the mass series. It's time to put on some size, some real size. Okay. Here we go. Are you ready? Eight reps. Six. 
See how I'm bringing it over my chest? There's four, my chest, not up here, right here. There's seven. And eight. All right. I'm sure you guys can feel that. Okay. One more set of that. Last set, best set. All right, good stuff. This is a great, great routine that will set you off. You can build tons and tons of muscle on this. And to be honest, this is pretty much my routine. I follow on a week over week basis with the exception that it's usually heavier weight because I'm not talking in between sets. But other than that, this is pretty much the same routine I follow. I try to keep it in the 45 minute range, maybe a little longer, but these are for the guys who have the time they have that dedication and they're ready to build. If you follow progressive overload, this will build lots of muscle. You could do this routine, pretty much that's it. And you'd be set for, you know, unless you become a, a competitor or something, there's a lot more you gotta get into. But just for the average guy like me, who's just trying to, trying to get in shape, trying to build some muscle, trying to be healthy as I get closer to 50. I'm currently 47, so, you know, I'm not that far away. So by 50, I'd like to be in great shape still and into my 50s and 60s and beyond. That's not just lifting, but that's health in general, right? So there's more to it than just lifting, but lifting is the real fountain of youth. It is the only fountain of youth. All right, enough talk, last set. Here we go, let's do it. Eight reps, feel that stretch. stuff okay let's put that back let's take a break we are going to go to the tricep press down I'll do a shorter rest in between but it'll be very effective this is a great routine great exercise we've already built a little bit of a tricep through the pressing bench pressing close grip bench pressing they all target the triceps as a secondary muscle. Well, the close grip really targets the triceps a lot. Traditional bench press hits the tricep as a secondary work, so you're not getting a full workout on a tricep. But now we're gonna go to the rope. Press down for eight reps, three sets. And as you're coming down, I'll show you from the front. You wanna have, well, I'll show you from the side, you wanna be leaning over a bit, kind of like this. You want your elbows at your side, and then you're going to do this motion. That's it. That's it, this motion, okay? You're not swinging, you're not bringing your arms up, your arms almost like they're locked at your side and they're hinged and you're hinging at the elbow. And then when you come down, try to push the ropes out a bit on the side like that. Instead of just doing like this, try to push them out and get a little bit of activation on the tricep. All right, let's do it. It's hard to see because I'm so far away. I know, once I get a little more advanced, I'll set a second camera up so you guys can see how it's going, okay? So we're doing what I said, we're leaning in, we're bringing it down to the elbows and we're extending. One, two, three, just like that. Four, and you're pulling them out at the bottom. Five, it's hard to see. Six, but that's what I'm doing. Seven, eight, just like that. Good stuff, guys, good stuff. Take a minute break here. Don't need quite as much time in between so we can fly through this. We are already at the amount of volume that we did in Forge, maybe even a little more. So now we're doing that extra little bit to really start building that muscle even more so, right? Set number one is done in the books. And then after the rope pull press down, we will go to the overhead extension with the easy bar, which will be like this. But if you don't have an easy bar, you can do it with a dumbbell, no problem. You can do it with two dumbbells. Right, that's uh, totally up to you. You could do it with the barbell too. It's a little bit more awkward because it's moving, but it's a quick seven foot bar, so it's tough to do it that way. But you can. 
Alrighty, mic check. Yep, still looking good. Excellent. Okay, let's get ready for the second set on the rope press down, guys. I want eight good reps, eight solid reps. Are you ready? Get in position. One, just like that. Two. Flex those triceps at the bottom. That's it. So we do them. really stretch them at the bottom, push them, flex them. Okay. Alrighty. Last set. Best set on this. Let's go. If it's too heavy, lower the weight, write it down. And if you could only get five or six, lighten the weight, write down the reps and the weight, then next week you'll know I should start at this weight and then track your progress for progressive overload. And you will go up pretty fast, so don't, uh, don't worry about that, guys. And I think this is the only video I've done in red. I'm in red today, there we go. Try to get variation of colors for you guys so I'm not so boring all the time. All right. Also, if you don't like listening to me and you want to listen to music, put it on closed caption, right? You can see what I'm saying still, just so you know what's coming up. And then you can still listen to whatever you want. Listen to music, listen to a podcast. Alrighty, last set guys, here we go. This is what it's all about. Ready? Let's do it, eight reps. Nice, good job, guys. Okay, now we're going to move to the extensions, overhead extension. I'm just gonna put this out here so I can sit on it. Uh, actually, I'll do it there so you can see from the side. Let me bring the bar over. Okay, put this right down here. Take a break. Take a breath, take a drink. <clears throat> it's tricky, we're going into holiday season here, guys, when this is made. So you wanna track your progress over the holidays. Try not to skip too much. Try not to overeat. Have fun, eat a lot of turkey. Turkey's great for protein, by the way. So eat a lot of turkey, have some stuffing, have some potatoes. Try not to go overboard, try not to gorge yourself. Enjoy yourself, but then try to limit the alcohol as well. Alcohol, guys, is the pretty much one of the worst things you can do. Smoking, of course, alcohol would be right up there. Um, I rarely drink, I almost never drink, I try not to. Um, so if you are a heavy drinker, my first uh, thing I would say is cut down the alcohol a lot. You reduce that, you'll make huge differences just, just in that, all right? Okay, here we go. This is not laying down, we're sitting up, guys. We're sitting up. Just to show you how it works, let's go. Ready, we're gonna do eight reps. Put it overhead, lift it up like that. Don't lose your balance like I almost did. And just like that. One, two, three. I don't know if you can hear my bones cracking, but they are. Five, six, seven, and eight. This, I like using the easy bar. Gives you a full stretch, gives you a full range of motion, and you can load it up. I'm doing about half the weight, but if you want to really load it up, you can really put some some uh, some strain on the tricep. Remember, the tricep is like two thirds of the size of the arm. Everybody thinks about the biceps, but the triceps, guys, are big. The triceps take up two thirds of the arm. That's what gives you that thicker looking arm is the whole tricep. The bicep's just this little guy here, right? On, on this side, everybody likes to flex this way, but on this side, the tricep does all the work of the size, okay? So it's so important to work the triceps hard. Personally, I don't like my triceps. I need to work them harder. It's a good New Year's resolution. Work my triceps harder. 
get some more volume in because we all have some stubborn areas that just don't want to grow. My chest is one, my triceps are another, and probably some of my legs. So, but that's my own fault. All right, set number two. You guys ready? Put it up. There we go. Let's go. One, two. You can feel that stretch on the way down. Okay, nice. We're going into last set, best set, and then we're done with the weight. Then we're gonna just finish with some push up burnouts, and then we will be done. Okay, good stuff. Take a break. Get ready for the last set. This is day one, guys. It's a five day bodybuilding split. Okay, so day two, when you come to do day two next time, it's going to be back and biceps. We're gonna work the back, We're gonna try to build that big back, get that nice V shape to try to build those, those lats out right there. And of course the V shape is made in the kitchen too, right? You burn off the calories, you will get narrower waist, you will get that V look. That's what we're all looking for there. Okay. okay, are you ready for the last set of this? Last one, best one. My pants are dirty for some reason. Okay. And yes, I always like to work out barefoot at home. Feels good. Okay. Let's go. Get it up. Okay. You ready for eight reps? Let's go. Try to keep your elbows closer together if you can. Don't flare them out. Five. Six, seven, eight. All right. Good stuff. I'll put that guy down here for now. Okay, take a quick break. And we're done with the weight. We're gonna finish with some push ups. Okay. Take a break. How about we do. 20 push-ups, 30 second rest, 15 push-ups, 30 second rest, 10 push-ups, and we are done. All right, so it'll be 45 push-ups in a couple of minutes. If you guys are advanced, this will be easy for you. If you're not that advanced, you might struggle, but it's okay, it's okay, take a break. If you're seriously advanced, put your feet elevated, decline push-ups, okay? Alrighty, we are going to start with 20. Are you ready guys? Here we go, 20 push-ups. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. I said 30 seconds. Take that breather, guys. Maybe 40 seconds. We'll see. Now we're going for 15 push ups. This is a countdown. This is easy. Maybe I'll even lie. Maybe we'll do 15, 10, and then five to make it an even 50. Is that right? Yeah, that'll work. All right, guys, 15 push-ups. You ready? Let's go. Five. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, all right, you're probably feeling it. <laughs> you're probably feeling it, guys. Now we'll do 10. See, we're counting down, only 10. That's easy. If you need a towel off, towel off. Let's do it. 10 push-ups, <clears throat> no problem. You ready, guys? Here 
here we go, 10 push-ups, let's go. Nine, 10, all right. Now, 30 more seconds and we'll do five more. Five more and we're done, okay? Now, these five, let's go a little bit slower. Let's try to slow it down, okay? Like twice as slow. Count to two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Nice and slow. You'll see how tough it'll be. All right. You ready guys? Five slow ones. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. That's it. That's it guys. <laughs> Good job. We are done. Day one of the mass series. It's time to build. Thank you very much for joining me. Like, subscribe, comment. I will see you all in day two for back and bicep. Go get some protein, guys. You've earned it.